สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I'm making a dish called ข้าวผัดคะน้าปลาเค็ม So ข้าวผัด is fried rice, คะน้า is Chinese broccoli, and ปลาเค็ม is salted fish. Now this is one of those simple rustic dishes that Thai people have all the time, and it's such an Easy dish with so few ingredients, so I'm constantly surprised by how good it is every time I have it. So I can't wait to share it with you. Let's get started. So salting fish is a preservation method that's done all over the world in lots of different cultures, and each culture have their own variation. If you're in Thailand, you can find salted fish already made, and you can just buy like a steak of salted fish. That's what we do at home. Here, I can't find it, so I figured out how to make my own salted fish, and it's super easy. So I have chosen salmon. This is wild Atlantic salmon because it's leaner. For salted fish, you want to use something lean and firm. Okay, and all I did was I put a generous amount of salt all around it, get a nice coating. Let it sit in the fridge for two to three hours. If the piece is thin, two hours. If it's the thicker piece, three hours. So I did mine for about two and a half. Then you wash it off and then pat it super dry, and that's what I have now. And the nice thing about making your own salted fish is you can control how salty your fish is. Sometimes in Thailand, I find that the commercially made one is too salty for me, and so I can only put. A little bit of it in the fried rice before it becomes too salty. So this is perfect. So the first thing I'm going to do is sear my salted fish, get nice crispy browning all around it, and be quite generous with uh, with the oil so you get nice even browning. By the way, this is way more than you need for this recipe. I'm just making a whole bunch for the future because it keeps for a while. There we go. And you want to let that sear until it's browned on both sides. Don't worry about overcooking it. We're gonna cook the heck out of it. So just get it nice and brown. That's all that good flavor developing. Now I've seared off my salmon. It's nice and browned on the top, and the skin is also crispy. I'm gonna chop these up now because I want it to distribute well. On my in my fried rice. Now I've cooked off both of these because now that they're cooked, they'll last in your fridge for a long time. Because again, salt does preserve the fish, and you can crumble it, put it over salad, you can put it in fried noodles. I mean, this becomes super versatile. Think of it like bacon bits, salty bacon bits, but fish. <laughs> All right, give this a rough chop, and yes, it will crumble. That's okay. Oh, pin bone. <gasps> Make sure you remove pin bones from your salmon. Um, I remove pin bones in my salmon. Clearly, I didn't remove all of them. Mmm, mmm, salty fish. And that's it for this part. Just quickly before we cook Chinese broccoli, I want both the stems and the leaves, but I want to make sure the stems are cut small so it mixes well with the rice, kind of like you know peas in fried rice. And just rough chop on the leaves, and that is it. Okay, this goes. Super quickly. Got a wok here. I'm gonna turn on. I'm gonna put some oil in there. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna fry the salted fish and get each individual bit crispy, and also to flavor the oil. So the saltiness and the fishy flavor is gonna get into the oil, and the oil is gonna help flavor the rice. So I'm gonna go in with my fish. You don't really have to wait for the oil to get too too hot for this. And just stir that around until it's crispy. You may be wondering why I had to fry the fish twice, and it's because if I fry these things from raw, there's going to be so much liquid coming out. Also, if I want to store my salted fish, I want to make sure it's cooked because that way it'll last you a long time. But in the raw state, it won't last you as long. Okay. So as you can see, the edges of the pieces are nice and brown and crispy. That's it. I'm going to turn that off. Okay, so I did say this goes really quickly. That's except for this part. This part requires a little bit of patience with it. A few minutes. I'm gonna be three to four minutes. We'll do. Woo! And I want to leave the oil in there because that's the oil I'm using to fry my rice. Okay. And I haven't turned the heat back on because this oil is already quite hot, and I don't want to burn my garlic too quickly. See, my oil is still off, and the garlic is sizzling away. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn it back on. Just the small pieces start to turn a little golden. I'm gonna add my eggs. I got two eggs here. Woo! And break the yolk. I'm gonna scramble it a little bit. I'm gonna let it set for a little while just to get that marbled effect. 
scramble a little more. Okay, and now that it's sort of soft and custardy, I'm gonna add my uh, Chinese broccoli. Get that all tossed together. Wilt the broccoli a little bit because I slice it so thin, it's not gonna take very long at all. Now the rice goes in. I'm using jasmine rice that I cook using a little bit less water than I normally do. That way I ensure that the rice doesn't get mushy. Give this a quick toss. Mmm. Now the seasoning is the simplest part of this dish. All I have is, where is it? Fish sauce. Yes, it's fishy fish. <laughs> A little bit of sugar to balance the saltiness. And some white pepper for some subtle heat. This is not a spicy dish, so we'll just want some pepperiness. Now get that mixed up. And now the fish goes in. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, and by the way, you definitely want to taste your salted fish to see how salty it is. And if it's not very salty, you can add a lot. If it's quite salty, you don't want to add too much, okay? And everyone's going to end up at different levels of saltiness depending on time and size of fish. So definitely some judgment call required here. Mmm. And that's it! This is simple, rustic goodness right here. And in terms of condiment, this doesn't really need anything, but if you find that it needs a little extra seasoning, you can use prik nam pla, which is our classic fried rice condiment. And it's basically fish sauce with chopped chilies and just a quick squeeze of lime. And that just kind of brightens up the flavor. It's sort of our salt and pepper and also a wedge of lime. This is not necessary for this because I think it's quite light already, this one, but I always love lime with fried rice. But I'm going to taste this one just as is. Especially with salted fish fried rice, sometimes the fish is saltier than you expected it, and so you don't want to add the condiment before you have a chance to taste it. Chinese broccoli, little piece of egg. Oh, I love the smell of fried rice. Mm. Perfectly seasoned. I don't need quick and blah, but I am going to go in with just a quick squeeze of lime and see what we've got. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, it's such simple flavors, but it's so surprisingly good. The rice is just mildly seasoned with just a touch of fish sauce and that little bit of sugar. It doesn't taste sweet, but it's well balanced. And then when you bite into the salmon, it's like a burst of saltiness and a little meatiness with the crunchiness from the gailan. And because I was able to get high heat on my wok, I get a little bit of that toasty wok aroma. Oh my gosh. You really must try it because it's one of those things, it's like, how can something that simple be that good? And it really is. And it makes me miss home so much because this is the simple flavors of rustic home cooking. So the recipe, as always, will be on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I always love seeing your photos. If you haven't subscribed to the show, right here, and you'll never miss an episode. And I will see you next time for your next delicious time meal. And it's one of the easiest fried rices you can make. There's so few ingredients. So I turn to this dish all the time when I'm out of time and money and I'm broke and there's nothing to eat and I'm in the sick. fridge. And I'm homesick. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs>